We got this big red heart of beast. Originally shot it on top of the mountain at about 200 yards. It made it all the way down the other side of the mountain. And uh, it was about 450 yards away. Yeah, well, congratulations, Rhett, <laughs> on a great hunt, great shot. This is like May 24th, 23rd. Second day of the hunt. Yep. And so we're glad to be here and got many more animals to. Uh, See. Here's my fantastic buffalo after a little two-day recovery. Thanks to the two men here. <laughs> I made a little less than ideal shot on it. And uh, this man right here, I've never seen anybody track in my life like this. And this guy here with the determination and grit wouldn't let us quit. And two days later, with a little bit of help from the rest of our friends, one dead buffalo. Thanks a lot, everybody. Quite a cloudy day, the wind um, didn't always work for us and we had to try a few things and finally we went after a harder beast and as it often happens, ends up with a zebra which is um, exactly what we needed for, for bait purposes and um, it was quite a dicey shot, a lot of brush back here, um, tall grass, uh, getting it all figured out and getting a shot lined up and um, well, you know, you did a good job, you know, first one down, first African animal 
First day of the season. Congratulations, well done, man. Thank you, Yako. It was a great experience. Uh, this tall grass and a lot of trees, uh, very difficult to hunt this zebra. But I'm very happy to be here and this first day of the season, my first African animal. Thank you very much. You betcha, you're welcome. Well, we saw a couple of bulls this morning, uh, pretty early on in the day. Uh, we left them because we uh, decided it would be a little bit too easy. Eh? So we went on, we tried to look for other bulls, we followed a couple of other bulls, bumped them a few times, got on the tracks and uh, we caught them a lot quicker than we had anticipated that we would. And uh, there was a third one that had joined the two earlier ones that we had seen this morning. Uh, he was the last one to stand up and uh, Phil made a pretty good shot on him, dropped him straight in his tracks. Good experience. Okay. I've been tracked Buffalo before and uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of excitement. Well done, Rolf. Thank you, Neil. He's down. Bunch of blood. He's going down. Boom. Down. Yes. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable.
Great shot, friend. Great shot. Great shot. Shoot, sir. We've just put up our third bait and um, we freshened the one where the two males are feeding so we've just put up another new bait today. Hopefully we'll get some more cats feeding. Yeah, a fantastic yeah. shot. You yeah. didn't move one, one, one inch. So, yeah, brilliant. Good shooting, sir. Thank you. Well done. Thank you.
shoot him if he comes across. Good. This zebra was absolutely perfect. We crawled up on it. It's down on the ground, and that's all that matters. And uh, I feel great about the whole thing. They're telling me that the zebra will be great meat bait for uh, leopard and lion. And it's a good looking zebra too. It's a stallion. And I'm very happy with it. I got to experience trackers following the prints and it was just amazing to see them work. She made a good shot. Good shot, good shot, good good shot baby. Reload. You nailed it. Down. Oh, can you please? Right through the shoulders, about 100 yards. Um, good ethical kill. She's, I couldn't be more proud of her. So continuing down the road after taking the Impala, a uh, matter of a half an hour or so, uh, Loman, our, our chief tracker, spotted a uh, rather large herd of eland. Uh, we uh, got off and gave chase to see if there was a decent bull in there. Sure enough, there was. Uh, they saw us. They knew we were coming from a long ways off, but uh, the, uh, this, this nice, beautiful uh, black maned uh, bull in full rut, uh, standing uh, under a tree, uh, a lot of cover. He wouldn't let us get closer than about 150 yards, but had to get uh, down pretty much on the ground, and he gave us a good clear shot and uh, uh, took him on the shoulder. Uh, he ran off and we gave chase. And we're real, real proud to take him. And uh, just uh, just awfully proud uh, to have him. And uh, can't wait to uh, have him on the wall. And we'll, uh, we'll continue on and see what, uh, what the morning brings us next.